I love from those who wear them as a warm reminder That love can care, plus it's hard to tell the fake from the rare When people draw their love from how they fail That's just how I feel And man, that's just how it is Spreading that endless love Sometimes it pains or hugs Sometimes it stains or shrugs Sometimes it's euphoric like being that they rave on drugs Sometimes it's worn by mugs But the feeling at all I thank the God above Spreading that endless love Sometimes it pains or hugs Sometimes it stains or shrugs Sometimes it's euphoric like being that they rave on drugs Sometimes it's worn by mugs But the feeling at all I thank the God above Spreading that endless love Sometimes it pains or hugs Sometimes it stains or shrugs so, for those who don't know me, my, my name is India, and um, <sighs> okay, I originally never planned on ever, ever doing anything like this, but it's really, I don't know, I guess on my heart, I guess that's what I'm saying, to talk to my postgraduate students, well, postgrad people here. I know what it's, I know exactly what it feels like to be in the space of, I don't know my next move. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm literally just waking up and living. Like, I know exactly what that feels like, but to all my post-grad students like myself, who's going through a hard time, can't find a job, it's going to be okay. I'm not telling you this as a person who's been through it. I'm telling you this as a person who's going through it. So if I'm telling you it's going to be okay, then it's going to be okay. Like, I know. I graduated, what, three weeks ago? I still don't have a job. I had to come back and move with my parents because I didn't have anywhere to stay because I don't have a job to pay for somewhere to stay. And because of where I'm from, there's no jobs here. So all the jobs that I apply for is at least an hour and and change away. It gets frustrating because it's just like I'm spending graduation money to put in gas to go to interviews for jobs that I'm not even getting. And it gets really, it gets depressing after a minute. And it's kind of a odd feeling when you just graduated, you just celebrated working four plus years, hard years of your life. But you can't even really celebrate or feel good because it's just like, what are, did I really accomplish anything? If I didn't have a job at the end, did I really accomplish anything? If I'm back back at square one, did I really accomplish anything? But you did. And you really did. Something that I really have to stop doing, and I know a lot of people do it, they might not want to admit to it, but you have to stop comparing yourself to what everybody else got going on. And I do it all the time. Like, don't get me wrong, I'm completely happy for everybody that graduated and had that job waiting for you had that place waiting for you but you know it's just like damn sometimes i'll be like damn i wish i could have had a job i wish i would have had yeah. something waiting for me and i didn't and yeah it's just like dang but you have to realize that your path and their path is two different paths your story and their story Where is God two different you stories. or whatever you believe in is taking them it's two different ways and you can't compare yourself like yeah we all went to the same hbcu or we all went to college or we all came out at the same time but what's for you is for you and what's for them is gonna be for them and i know it's hard i'm in it right now you know how many job interview uh, job interviews i've been on how many applications i put in and it's just like, point where I just can't like, catch a break. I just want a job at this point. Because I've never not had a job. Never. Ever. Not one time in my life have I never, ever not had a job. So it's just like, I don't know what to do with myself. And I feel like I'm in a race with myself to accomplish goals that is already, it's already for me. Like, it's already laid out. So... From me to you, do not stress it. The only thing you can do is put these job applications in. Call. The only thing you can do is put these job applications in. Go hard on these people. Call them. Say, hey, I put it in. Mm. Shit. The only thing you can do is put job in. Mm. The only thing you can do is put your applications in. And. Mm. No, I'm Hold on. Fresh out of college. 
people really expect you to have it all together. And who said that? Like, I know it's so many people, and I'm so proud of those people who are living their best life, who got exactly what they came to school for. But at the end of the day, everybody's not like that. That doesn't happen to everybody. A very small amount does that happen to. And it's okay. It is okay. You're going to get that job. You're going to move out. You're going to be straight. Everything is going to be good, but you really got to have that faith and you really got to have it. When I say you got to have it, you got to have it. Because some days you just going to feel like, bro, well, what, what, what did I go to school for? What am I here? What, did, what? Like, what is this? And I know I'm doing it every day. When I'm not recording, I'm really putting in applications in. Like, I'm putting in like 20 applications in a day just to hear back from two. And even when I'm out here, you know, trying to have fun and live my best life as people think. No, because when I'm out having fun or with my friends or doing something else, in the back of my mind, I'm always just like, dang, I'm out here having fun, but I can put a job, job application in. And you can't live like that. You can't live like that. You just spent four plus years stressing over assignments, professors, uh, group projects, how to have, just having, this college in general. Take a step back. Soak it in that you got, that you did it. You did it. You graduated. And it's okay that you don't have a job. It is okay that you had to go back and regroup. It is okay. Don't let nobody make you feel like, oh, you graduated. You should have this and the third. Because the half of the people that say that ain't never stepped foot on a college campus, period. So they ain't got no reason to be talking to you, period. So don't let nobody make you feel like you're not doing enough when they ain't doing I'm not even... Business there yet but i believe so much in my god i believe so much in myself i believe so much in everything i've been through there ain't no way ain't no job gonna hire me my timing ain't got nothing on his timing your timing has nothing on his timing do you hear me so to all my recent college graduates i want you to I need you to chill out, chill out, relax your mind. I don't care what your mama said, what your daddy said, what your grandma, what your aunties, what your uncle, what your brother, what your sister say. Only you are living your life. Don't let nobody else stress you out because they feel like you should have this and you should have that. And nine times out of ten, they ain't helping you do nothing. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't stress yourself out. Don't do that. And you don't you do that. The only thing you can do, y'all, is put in these applications. Call them. You know, hey, I put in the application. And pray to God that he take it from there. Whatever the job is meant for you, you're going to get. And whatever job is not meant for you, you're not going to get. And I know it's hard when you keep hearing, no, you've been denied. Unfortunately, we're not. I know. I done got so many unfortunately's or, you know, not hiring me and so many, so much bad news when it comes to jobs. And it's just like, just keep going. Just keep going. Just keep going. It's going to be okay. A week from now, I can have a job. Tomorrow, I can have a job. Tomorrow, you can have a job. So, it's going to be okay. Yeah, and that's really all I had to really say, you know, because I really wasn't supposed to be recording that today. But, you know, that was just on my heart for my folks, for all my folks. So, we're going to be all right. We're going to be all right. We're going to be good. I want y'all to have a nice day. We here together. We here together. So that's that. Because I'm gonna finish my salad and I'm gonna put in some more job applications. And that's that. And I'll holler at you when I holler at you.
This shit so random. Why y'all lower y'all standards? Make niggas think they nice when they really below average. Fill them up with hype, man. Y'all got me stressed. Now I gotta show y'all motherfuckers who the best. Who you know that put their words together better than the God? Best you ever saw. Flow wet. Bet I get a wetter in the jaw. She like, baby, you a star. I can't believe it. Now my shit bout to set sail in her seat. No semen. Pull out game on a thigh wow. I've been all rap. No caps since Lil Bow Wow. Drop bounce with me. Couple years ago, might catch me with an ounce with me. Higher than a bitch. I be fly. In the bitch, catch me riding in the whip. No nines, just a dime with me. You know she fine if she rhyme with me. We in the act, roof back, windows down, bumping the goat. And I met him this year. Took two years off back, and I'm better this year. So you know I'm on my shit, really. Rap bully on a track, get slapped silly. I'm through killing, got somewhere I need to go today. Just dropped the EP full of throwaways. Random.